Okay, just received uh, this in the post today. Um, it's the new Trumpeter uh, Supermarine Spiteful. It's actually been in preparation, as we know, for um, a, a couple of years. The first shots appeared on the web a couple of years ago of uh, resin uh, prototypes for this kit. Um, there's been a few uh, a few issues raised with the kit. I'm just going to give a quick look through the kit, um, through the model, and what what comes in the box, really. Um, I have to say, looking at the uh, the general level of detail, um, the surface detail is uh, is uh, is absolutely superb. Uh, very very fine rivets um, and uh, fine scribed detail. Uh, as far as the fuselage halves are concerned, uh, a couple of um, issues have been raised. The major issue appears to be the location of the wing, um, somewhere between two and four millimeters too far forward on the model. Uh, whether you choose to address this is um, entirely up to you I would suggest. Um, I'm thinking of just I'm going to build this one straight from the box and fairly soon uh, I'm not going to move the wing. Uh, I don't want to disturb the surface detail and, and frankly while some people um, think uh, having the wing two or four millimeters between two and four millimeters too far forward is an issue I can live with it, I don't think it's that much of an issue, so I don't propose to uh, to modify this one. Although if people choose to do that, then uh, more power to them. Um, it's certainly not something to criticise. Other issues that have been spotted by uh, people include the fact that the, the rudder is a little bit undernourished um, and could do with a little bit of bulking out or replacement. Um, again, look, looking at this... Um, Looking at the actual uh, uh, rudder shape, it looks pretty good to me. It looks like a spiteful stroke uh, Spitfire 22-24 rudder. And another issue being raised is um, on the spiteful, there was uh, the entire fuselage uh, from the top longer on up is um, is quite different to the Spitfire. It's got a more of a, a, a curved bulge to it. Um, and part of the result of this is that the rear of the rocker covers for the Griffin engine blends into the fuselage smoothly rather than being a, a, a definite uh, contour change as it is with earlier Spitfires, uh, earlier Griffin Spitfires I should say. Uh, Trumpeter have done it as that um, defined line which you know um, some people are choosing to uh, to blend in with a tiny drop of uh, milliput just for accuracy's sake. I might do that, I might not. Uh, to be honest with the first one um, I'm interested in really just building it to see um, see how it goes together and what it looks like when it's built. You've got the prop here. Um, prop is in one part, which is uh, quite rare these days. Normally, more normally, you'll get all the blades separately. Uh, shape doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look awfully bad either. Um, see what it looks like when it's built up. Uh, oh, I, I should say one of the other issues being spotted is that the um, uh, the, the area be immediately behind the pilot seat is just a continuation of the fuselage on these um, bubble top Spitfires, and uh, Trumpeter have included an actual cutout with a, with a section that inserts in there. Um, uh, it's wrong, but I really can't get too wound up about it. It's it's a, a five minute job should you choose to do it to uh, restore that section to the fuselage. Uh, I'm not going to be overly harsh on them. Uh, wings uh, look pretty nice, although some people have said uh, again it's lacking a little bit in cord, perhaps a millimeter, millimeter and a half in cord. Are you going to worry about that on 48th? Again, if you choose to, um, I'm not going to criticise you. Uh, I'm choosing not to. Like I say, this will be built um, straight from the kit. Uh, one one thing I don't like is that the cannon uh, barrels are moulded in with the wings. It always makes cleaning up the leading edge um, a bit of a nightmare. I think I'll look through my collection. I think I've got some brass turned um, late Hispano barrels, um, which I can uh, I can replace should I choose. But we'll see what it looks like when it goes together. And uh, the minor parts here, um, tail planes look nice. Um, there's an interior. Uh, some people are saying um, it uh, the interior is um, is too shallow. Uh, photographs show that the Spiteful had a quite a shallow interior anyway. Uh, it wasn't like the Spitfire, it had side consoles, uh, proper floor, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, once, once again it's um, it's largely down to, uh, to personal taste whether you do anything with the interior. I'll look and see how it looks. Bearing in mind it's all going to be black anyway, so very little of it is going to be visible. Um, Again, uh, it's 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 down to the individual model of whether he chooses to do anything. Uh, 
minor problem in that the um, the radiators are far too deep. Um, the spiteful had very very uh, had very thin radiators, um, and these are probably a couple of millimetres, a millimetre and a half, two millimetres too deep. That will make a big difference to correct that, and uh, will be a um, you know a relatively short, uh, a relatively quick operation. So I'm planning certainly to um, to reduce the depth of the radiators um, to something more approaching prototypical. But uh, overall, I have to say, I'm really impressed with the general quality of the model. It is, it's very nice. It has got a few accuracy issues, a few accuracy issues that were highlighted, um, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, which haven't been corrected. But uh, nothing, to my mind, that's show-stopping. The biggest problem, if you choose to think of it as a problem, is the, um, the location of the wing, which being only a couple of millimetres out, uh, whether it's that much of a problem is a personal... Uh, a personal issue I think. Okay, decals are quite amusing. Um, you've got uh, RB518, one of the prototype aircraft, uh, along with a couple of what ifs, and that includes um, a, uh, a Finnish um, natural metal aircraft and a camouflaged uh, Dutch aircraft, purely what ifs. Um, decals uh, are very, very basic, there's no stencils, only the major deep decals are included. Uh, certainly, if you're doing one of the, um, if you're doing the RAF prototype, you, you're definitely going to be looking for uh, different markings. The yellow is far too pale on this, and the red um, is uh, is far too bright. So you're going to be looking for um, alternative uh, alternative decals. Anyway, um, nicely printed, and I have to say that generally, my experience with Hobby Boss decals is uh, is fairly positive. Um, never had too much of a uh, of an issue with them. Um, there's a couple of, for some reason, I've got two extra sets here, which um, I, I, I don't see why I need them, but um, they've included two. Perhaps that's just a, a bit of a boxing error. But this is just um, a uh, a mesh cover for the um, air intake under the nose and some mesh um, inserts for the radiators, uh, which are also going to have to be cut down to match the radiators. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, finally, uh, the clear parts, which um, which oh dear, they're, they're looking, they're, they're actually quite thick. They are very very clear and don't show much distortion through. But the actual canopy itself is is really um, surprisingly thick. Um, I'll probably be looking for one of the um, Aero Club uh, replacements for that. Um, but the windscreen, uh, the windscreen looks okay. Uh, instruction booklet um, including uh, there's, uh, there's, there's colour instructions here inaccurate in that they, they say RB518 uh, they're saying that the tail band and the spinner are white when in fact they should be sky um, but, uh, but pretty nice um, colour printed instructions um, colour references uh, are Mr Hobby uh, Valero Model Master, Tamiya and Humbrol matches for the colours where, where possible. Um, and as you can see some uh, some uh, colour details for the what ifs. And the, uh, the Finnish what if is in silver. Um, the, uh, the Dutch what if is um, in what would be day fighter camouflage but they've listed it with sky undersides. So um, it's a what if, it doesn't matter. So if you choose to do that, um, knock yourself out. Do what you, uh, do what you want to with it. Um, And as you can see, fairly uh, fairly clear instructions. Um, I think this looks like it's going to be um, a very simple build indeed, uh, very quick. So um, hopefully, I will uh, get onto that quite shortly. So uh, so stay tuned. So that's the Trumpeter Spiteful um, F Mark 14, although uh, I'm led to believe it's an F Mark 16 from the box. I'll do some research myself to find out what the differences are. Um, but overall, uh, a fairly nice model, a few issues, uh, not perfect. But um, we'll see what it looks like when it's built up. Um, it's another member of the, uh, the, the Spitfire family, the ultimate expression of the Spitfire. So uh, a, uh, a welcome release as far as I'm concerned.